Hello student, myself Rajit Saskar and today we are going to learn the basic concept and introduction about data structure. What is data structure? Simple data structure means data means memory and structure means representation. In our computer, how data are stored and what type of its structure is called data structure. The simple definition is provide an efficient way of storing and organizing the data in a computer. Suppose if you fill an admission form to your college, you enter your name, enter your college name, enter your marks, then these data are stored in your computer. It is stored in many ways, right? This structure or this presentation, representation is called data structure. Next, classification of data structure. Basically, data structure are classified in two main types. First is primitive data structure and second is non-primitive data structure. In primitive data structure, basic data types are there, integer, character, float and double, which are basically used in C language. In non-primitive data structure, there are also main sub two types, linear data structure and non-linear data structure. In a linear data structure, elements are arranged or elements are represent a sequential manner. It means one element are connected with another element and non-linear data structure elements or data are arranged or connected in random format. Right? In linear data structure there are again two subtypes. First is static and second is non-static linear data structure. In a static linear data structure, the example is array. Array is group of similar data type. In static data structure, memory R does not change and in dynamic data structure, memory R change at a runtime. Okay, now in a dynamic linear data structure there are three main data types data structures first linked list second stack and third is queue what is mean by linked list linked list is a sequential arrangement of a data suppose you have three elements name A, B and C. In linked list, this A is connected with B and this B is connected with C. The best example of linked list in a real life is railway. We can insert element, we can delete the element and we can modify the element by using linked list. In a linked list, all the data are linked with its address internally. Next, dynamic linear data type, data structure is stack. In a stack, elements are inserted and elements are deleted only from one end. Let us see example of a stack suppose this is basic structure of stack this one end is open and this one end is closed if you inserting the element on a stack it's called push if you inserting the element on a stack it's called push and 
if you delete the element or remove the element from the stack it's called pop if you remove or delete the element from the stack it's called pop the best example of stack in real life is bunch of chair right if you want to remove the last one first you need to remove all these three chairs then you are find this last chair when you enter the data like a b and c in a stack a is come first b is come second and c is come at third number if you want to remove a first you pop out c then second you pop out b and then you find the element a it means it means this stack is work as lifo manner what is long form of lifo which element the element is last in is first out in this example c is inserted last but pop out first that's why stack is work as a principle at li fo l i f o last in first out this is about stack next dynamic linear data structure is q in q element are inserted from the both end that is for is called front and rear in q basically q format is like this the element are inserted from the side it's called rear and element are removed from the side it's called front it's called front the best real life example of a queue is ticket window suppose this is ticket window one man come and stand first then another comes and stand behind first one then third right the ticket collector take give this ticket for first man and this man is go out again this is second man take a ticket and go out then third this is example ticket window is a best example of queue in a queue format suppose we inserted a element a a is inserted at front if we want insert a b b is inserted after a if you want insert c c is inserted after b and if you want to remove the element always elements are removed from the front right first inserted first out here a is inserted first that's why a is removed out first right first a is removed second b is removed and last c is removed the linked list is working as a principle first in first out here a is inserted first that's why a is removed first first in first out the linked list is work 
as principal first in first out this is all about linear linear it means sequential in a stack linked list and queue all the elements are arranged in a sequential manner also in array elements are arranged in a sequential manner next non primitive data structures type is non linear data structure the example of non linear data structure is tree and graph in a tree the elements are arranged in a random format suppose this is your first element a then b is connected with a or and third element is c c is connected with b or c is connected with c no sequence is there that's why tree are non linear data structures next is graph in graph elements are also arranged in random format suppose a are connected with b and c are connected with a or b it means there is no sequence or there is no exact format about storage or data structure that's why graph is also a non linear data structure this is all about classification of data structure next pointers and dynamic memory allocation we will see in first c language pointer pointer is a variable which store the address of another variable here n is a integer type which have value 20 and address is 1500 and we store we take another variable here ptr and use a pointer that is star ptr here star ptr indicates the pointer variable ptr stores the address of n types of m n number of data types it means n have value 20 and ptr store the address of 20 it means 1500 let us see example of pointer in this program we include two header file first stdio.h and second conio.h every program start with main function in a main function we declare two variables integer first is i and second is pointer variable every pointer variable is shown with symbol star it's called asterisk symbol next clear screen use for clear the output screen and here pointer variable ptr stores the address of element i next print function print the pointer address of variable ptr and next get ch function used to hold the output screen now pointer is a variable which store the address of another variable here pointer ptr holds holds the address of variable i if we run this program it shows the value of i that is 20 if we remove this pointer variable if here we declare ptr that's why we are declare here only ptr variable and run this program it gives the address of that variable that is minus 12 it means i is equal to 20 is stored in memory address minus 12 
okay the syntax of pointer variable is data types if you want store the string data types then data types is character chr if you want integer types of data type then data type is integer float next use star is called in direction operator or star symbol then gives the pointer name of that pointer variable next is introduction to array and structure we were see in a classification of array array is linear type of data structure also array is a collection of similar data types it means if you want integer and characters stored together then array does not support this type of data structure then we use for that data for that uh, storage we use a structure for integer and character type of data structure array store the similar types of data data type and structure are collection of different data types basically array has two types first single one, di one dimensional array and second a multi dimensional array in one dimensional array how it will be perform or how it will run let us see in example in this program we include two header files first stdio.h and second conio.h every program start with main function in a main function we declare an array of size 5 and elements are 3 5 6 7 and 8 it means it acquire a five blocks of memory in a memory manage in memory storage next clear screen is used to clear the output screen and for printing these values we use printf function which starting index from 0 to 4 and get ch function for hold the output screen now in array we declared array size 5 and elements are 5 if we compile this program it gives and zero error and zero warning it means it's allocate a memory of for these five elements now we decrease the memory size by one compiler does not allocate a memory for this extra one element and it gives an error that is too many initializations it means array is a static types of data structure which does not acquire a memory at a runtime for this drawback c introduce us for four dma functions called dynamic memory allocation functions these are malloc calloc realloc and free okay we will see how array are run or how array are work with the similar data types array are static types of data structure it means its value does not change during program execution for this drawback c introduce four functions that is called dynamic memory allocation function dynamic memory allocation it means it provides or it allocate a memory to the variable at a runtime suppose we use suppose we declare an array a of 5 then compiler allocates 5 block of memory in a memory storage 
starting index from 0 1 2 3 and 4 and elements are 4 5 6 7 and 8 if you want change the array size a of 4 and elements are 5 then compiler does not allow to assign or to store the memory for this last one for this drawback c language introduce basic concept called dynamic memory allocation dynamic memory allocations allocates a memory to the variable at a runtime to use dma functions we need to include this header file called stdlib standard library header files these four functions are malloc calloc realloc and free let us see one by one first is malloc malloc function allocates a single block of memory malloc function allocates a single block of memory the simple syntax of malloc function is pointer variable cast type it is either character string integer then use a malloc keyword or malloc function and whatever you want to get size of that variable this is about malloc second function is calloc malloc allocate a single block and calloc allocate multiple multiple blocks of memory same the syntax like malloc only change the numbers of elements and function of that name of that function is calloc next third type is realloc realloc it means reallocation of memory a realloc function is used to reallocate reallocate a memory which are allocated by using malloc or calloc the simple syntax is pointer variable realloc next the pointer and new allocated size and last function is free free function is used to delete or to erase the memory which are acquired by malloc calloc and realloc the simple syntax of free function is free keyword and that pointer variables next most important point is space complexity and time complexity space complexity means the amount of memory required for program execution some programs need most memory large memory or some programs require less memory depends on their processor or depends on their program if the program which require the amount of memory for execution is called space complexity also time complexity the amount of time the amount of time required for program execution is called time complexity some programs need large time some program needs average time and some program need less time for execution depending depends on their time it also divide in a three types first worst case space complexity and worst case time complexity worst case means the maximum number of space or the maximum number of time required for execution is called worst case complexity next best case the minimum the minimum number of space or the minimum number of time required for the program execution is called best case space or best case time complexity and average case time complexity or average case space complexity the average number of steps 
taken by or taken any instance size of n it's called average case space complexity or average case time complexity these space complexity and time complexity are measured in three notations called asymptotic notations the first is big o notation second omega notation and third is theta notation these three notations are used for third one is theta notation these three notations are used for calculating space complexity and calculating time complexity and last point of this chapter is algorithm algorithm is a finite set of instruction that specifies the sequence of operations the best example if you want to withdraw atm card if you want to withdraw a money from atm then there are some steps insert a card select your account type enter amount enter a pin and then you will get a money from this atm we follow these steps it means we follow this atm's algorithm right that means it has sequence of operations it's for solving the problem it's called algorithm the characteristics of algorithm is finiteness def definiteness effectiveness input and output this is all about data structures i hope you will better understand this chapter or this point thank you